Okay, we're doing uh, section 2-1, number 49 here. They're asking us to find the x and y intercepts and to graph this function. Okay, so x is equal to the absolute value of y minus 4. Now, there's a couple of different ways you could do this. You could just go about making an x-y table, and you'll be plugging in quite a few points, but you could actually solve it out that way. Or we can solve with the absolute value. I'm going to get the absolute value alone on one side. So I've got the absolute value of y is going to equal to... Okay, that will go up. x plus 4. Okay. So that I have to write twice. So I write it first time by dropping it. And y equals, then I negate the opposite side. Oops, that's a 4, not a y. Okay. So x intercept. x intercept happens when y equals 0. These should be 4s, not y's. So when y equals 0, x equals negative 4. When x equals 0, y equals 4. Over here, when y equals 0, x is going to be negative 4. And when x equals 0, y is going to be negative 4. So if I look at this graph, I've got 0, 4. Um, oops, I'm sorry. I've got 4, 0 y is 0, oh, that should be a negative 4. So 0, negative 4. There we go. And x is 0 and y is 4. So I've got those two. And I've got 0, negative 4. And negative 4, 0. So it looks like this. Now, generally the graph starts and goes like that. But noticing that this is an absolute value, if I plug in anything into um, x, that's bigger than negative, or, or it's going to make that equal 0. So if y is negative 4, that's going to be 4 minus 4 is 0. Um, I can't have anything over on this side because the absolute value tells me everything has to be positive from that y direction. Okay, so y this has to be going in this direction for the positive. So this part of the graph does not exist, but it's a v graph going to the right.